Hello, my name is Samantha Lucas and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why I believe young adult literature is very important to teach in the classroom. First, I just want to say that I was very fortunate to be able to read young adult literature when I was in high school. It was actually part of the curriculum. So not only did we read some of the classics, but my teacher actually was able to um, let us read certain books such as The Kite Runner, which ended up being one of my favorite books. Um, also, the reason why young adult literature is so important for students to read is because the stories relate to the students' lives. So there are times when what the character is going through in the book, um, the student is also going through. So here's a little story of why I believe young adult literature would benefit students. When I was in college, I volunteered at the Juvenile Justice Center um, in, my, in my city. And what we did is uh, we worked with them in a program called Writing for Life. And we would sit with the young incarcerated girls. They were ages 14 to 18. And we gave them writing prompts. And this was just a time for them to reflect, reflect on things that had happened in their lives. And um, what I realized was that what they did not want to do is to do totally non-relevant, to do writing prompts that were not relevant to their lives. They wanted to write about things they had gone through, um, things they were going through, and maybe things that they would go through in the future. And so that, I believe, has a lot to do with reading. Students want to read things that they can relate to and they want to read things that they're going through. Otherwise, they think, why read it? Young adult literature can also be helpful to introduce the classics. For example, Romeo and Juliet, what is that? It's a love story, and it's written by Shakespeare, so a lot of students automatically just hearing the name Shakespeare, they just tune it out. However, if we can introduce um, Shakespeare with, say, another love story, maybe such as Twilight, uh, that might be a bad example. But you can kind of tie in both of the stories, maybe even creating a class project, and this might convince the students that classics really aren't that bad, that they're really the same as this young adult literature, however they're just written in a different way. Um, another major point is, if our students are only going to read young adult literature, and not having them read young adult literature means they aren't reading at all. Wouldn't we rather them read young adult literature? I believe that reading young adult literature could also be beneficial to encouraging students to write. Um, I say this because reading young adult literature helps students relate to their own lives. Therefore, when people think about their own lives, they want to express themselves. And a really good way of expressing yourself is through writing which is a lot of times what is in young adult literature. It's stories written from characters' perspectives of what they might be going through. So in English classes, we aren't just working on getting students to read, we also want to get them to write because by writing, it helps them become a better writer the more they do it, and it also helps them become a better person when they're able to um, release whatever is going on in their lives. Sorry about that. Another important feature to young adult literature is a lot of times it brings up topics that students aren't always able to discuss with maybe their family or their friends or they feel like they can't. And through reading young adult literature, they can feel like there's someone else out there who has gone through what they're going through. It can, it can be a way to encourage them to speak about what they might be going through, or it could really just help them maybe even feel like they're not alone. And finally, I just want to talk a little bit about my experience teaching young adult literature in this class. Um, we partnered with a local high school, and we read some of the books that they were reading. One of them was Always Running. Um, we also read... Sunrise over Fallujah, and right now we're finishing up reading If I Stay. And the group I was with, we would come up with lesson plans, and we had our students over at the high school, and we'd talk about the book with them, and really just have small group discussions. 
And I really noticed that because of the books we were reading, they were more involved in our discussions. And that is because the questions that we asked them were mostly, how can you relate this book to your life? And having them look at their lives and situations that they've gone through and connecting them with the characters in the books that we were reading. Also, they uh, were able to, just like I said earlier, relate to the issues going on in the books. And so um, their interest was very high while, while reading them. Um, we also noticed that there were students who were rather disconnected in the beginning of the semester who became more connected and um, really contributed to the class discussions later on as they began to enjoy the books that we were reading. So, um, in conclusion, I believe that young adult literature should be taught in the classroom. It can really benefit students as well as teachers. Thank you.